Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems. I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. Today's theme is the auric field. It's such an important aspect of our subtle body. Not only is it our protection from any unhelpful energies out there, it also helps us to project our truth into the world so we can make the world a better place just by being. Today's Kundalini Yoga practice is very short, very powerful. I've pulled together some of the loveliest Kundalini Yoga aura boosters for this practice today. So let's bring our palms together, give them a good vigorous rub and bring your Pramudra into the heart center. Take a deep inhale as you stretch tall through the spine. Exhale to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhaling to lift the heart and exhaling to draw the chin in towards the neck. Let's take a deep inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Om Guru Dev Namo Deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice keeping you safe from injury, keeping the space that you're practicing in clear, keeping the aura clear. Exhaling, relaxing the hands to the knees with the palms face down. We're going to start our practice with a Sufi grind, inhaling the heart forward and around, exhaling back and around, nice full movement through the spine. As we inhale forward and around, exhale back and around. So the spine moves like a skipping rope between the shoulder and the pelvic girdles. And in Kundalini Yoga, the aura is known as the eighth chakra. So in this Sufi grind, we're just tuning up the other seven chakras with this movement, with this breath, with the eyes closed and rolled up and into the Ajna, the third eye point in the center of the brow. Take your own pace. If this feels a little bit too fast for you, slow it down with a longer, slower, deeper breath. If you have lower back ache, you might want to keep your navel pulling in just to support the lower spine. On the next inhale, we'll change direction. Keep that breath pattern, inhaling forward and around, exhaling back and around. Eyes rolled up and into third eye point. Feel this moving through the spine. As we tune up the spine, we tune up the subtle body, the chakra system. Keep that breath nice and full. Remember that the Breath is the prana, the life force energy, or the oxygen that we're bringing into our body for our kundalini yoga practice, clears us, heals us from the inside out. Inhale, lengthen tall through the spine. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more buns, so you're squeezing the anus and sex organs, you're pulling the navel in and you're feeling, sensing, imagining the energy rising up through the spine to the crown of the head and into the auric field beyond. Hold it, squeeze it, stretch tall. 
exhale, relax, release. Turn the palms up into Gyan Mudra, index fingers, touching thumbs. Just feeling the effects of that movement, that breath on the physical body and the subtle body. A light within starting to shine. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Let's move into our aura sweeps now. So palms face up, fingertips to the earth. We're inhaling the palms together above the head, exhaling palms out, fingertips back down to the earth. Inhaling palms up, exhaling palms down. I'm moving quite fast and vigorously for this one. If that's too fast for you, slow it down, synchronizing with a longer, slower, deeper breath. And as you sweep through the auric field, set your intention to clear away any knots of negativity, to clear away any pollution, any areas of gray or, or uh, op opacity. Powerful breath, powerful movement. Keep those arms strong and long, fingertips grazing the very edges of the auric field. Inhale up. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through more buns. You're pulling up with the pelvic floor, pulling in with the navel, driving that energy up through the spine, up through the arms, up into the fingertips and beyond into the auric field. Squeeze, hold, stretch. And exhale, comb the hands back down to the earth. Fingertips return to the floor, grounding the auric field, grounding these fresh new energies in the body. And just remaining present. Feeling the body and the mind. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. We've got our palms together now. This is um, another aura sweep. Exhaling clap. Inhaling out to the sides. Good. Eyes closed. Rolled up and into third eye. Now we're using Nard Yoga, the power of sound. Sound is such a great clearer. So just as we did before, set your intention to release any negativity, to clap away any heavier energies, any psychic hooks or attachments, anything that does not serve us, that does not belong in our energetic field. That's it. If you're feeling this as a bit, of a, a bit of a tired feeling in the arms, stay with it and keep going. Use your breath to help you. We're just doing this for a minute, just to clear up, swipe clean the auric field. Nearly there. Last few. And inhale out. Hold that breath in as you burst the heart open, squeezing more bun, drawing that energy up through the spine, opening wide through the chest. Open yourself up, open up your energy, expand it out, hold, squeeze. And exhale, float the hands down to the knees, Gyan Mudra. Again, just feeling that lovely, fresh energy moving in the body, moving beyond the body in the auric field. See if you can sense beyond your skin and feel the expansive space that is your energy. Inhale deep. Exhale, drop chin to chest. Opening eyes to gaze softly down at the lap and we'll come all the way up to standing. So we're moving into Archer Pose, one of the best activations through the radiant body. Step the feet as wide as you can. We're going to settle down into a lunge over that left knee. Make sure that the knee is just behind the ankle or stacked directly over it, just to protect it. We've got our hands in a thumbs up mudra. Out to the uh, left, we're going to draw back as if we're drawing back on a bow and arrow. And we've got our gaze fixed at that thumbnail and slightly beyond it to infinity. We're going to hold this posture with a breath of fire. 
If breath of fire is too much, too strong for you today, slow it down to a long, slow, deep breath. Sink nice and low into that lunge. Get a good, strong feeling of the feet pulling apart. The arches of the feet are lifting and you're holding your arches strong and steady, eyes fixed. <laughs> That's it, sit low in those hips. Keep that uh, left elbow lifted. Sorry, right elbow lifted. Nice straight spine, nice strong feeling in the arms. Keep the gaze fixed to infinity beyond that thumbnail. Inhale deep, exhale fully. We're gonna switch sides, just angling around now, stacking that right uh, knee over the right ankle, and it's a breath of fire. Again, the gaze is fixed at that thumbnail and slightly beyond it, you're gazing at your infinity. Sitting nice and low in that lunge, get those hips dropping down. Again, if breath of fire is not in your practice today, long, slow, deep breath will do. Keep that uh, right elbow back, uh, sorry, left elbow back and lifted so you're opening up the chest. That's it, we're expanding the auric field. Enjoy it. Enjoy this activation of your courage, your radiance. <laughs> Inhale deep. And exhale, bring those arms down, step your feet together, drop the chin to the chest, and gently ease your way back down to sitting with the hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees. Nice tall spine here. As you feel the heartbeat, you feel the body, the physical body. Perhaps you can feel the arms. Perhaps you can feel the legs, this activation of your physical self. And as we activate the physical self, so too we activate the subtle self. And the auric field is such a big part of that. It really is our unique energetic signature. So just resting in awareness of the physical form and seeing if you can inch your awareness out beyond the skin into the space around you. And with every breath, that space, that energy around you becomes more expansive, more light. With every breath, the radiance becomes more intense. With every breath, you're growing the intensity, the light, the frequency of your auric field. Every breath growing brighter and stronger and more and more iridescent. Let's bring our palms together now in prayer mudra and we will seal this radiance of our truth in our auric field by chanting Sat Nam, taking a deep inhale to chant. Sat Nam, bow 
bowing chin to chest, offering gratitude to your body, your mind, your breath for bringing you to this very short Kundalini Yoga Aura practice. And coming back into the room whenever you feel ready. Satnam and Yogi Gems, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're feeling bright and shiny. Please do give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you'd like to see more, of course, please do subscribe. And as always, thank you so much to everybody who supports me on YouTube. Super thanks and on coffee. You are so appreciated. Satnam, lots of love.